And essentially, according to what this teacher is saying, it could be limiting our educational potential. An MIT student responded by saying, like you're paying attention in class to your professor, you're emailing another professor, and you're looking up something else. So essentially, one of the biggest problems with media usage is that it's self-regulated. And many people don't have the self-control to use their time well. And they lack time management skills, which is the serious issue when confronting digital media. I provide a solution that we should become more adept at managing our time so that we are not constantly overwhelmed by all of the resources that are made available to us in today's society. We need to do things like set up time schedules or we need to um, deactivate online accounts for certain things if we feel like we're not able to spend time doing other productive things. And according to Dr. Drutzen, Combating distraction isn't as easy as turning off your email program. If you turn off your email program, it's not the software that's going to complain. It's the people on the other side. So this is a serious issue, but we can't do it by ourselves. However, we do need to address the fact that most kids spend 50 plus hours a week on digital media affecting brain develop, which can affect their brain development. And Dr. Gary Small from UCLA who is a scientist, took MRI scans of different areas of the brain used surfing the internet as opposed to reading. And he concluded that many parts of our brain that should be developing are being inhibited by our overuse and overindulgence in the media. So in summary, the media is an amazing resource, but we need to manage our time better so that we are not overwhelmed and distracted all the time. So rather than pat my head and rub my tummy throughout the entire presentation, I was able to focus on what I was saying in order to communicate a more effective message.